Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi as a Plex client. By Plex client, I mean you'll be able to stream movies from your Plex server to this Raspberry Pi to any TV, monitor, or display in your house. I'm going to go over setting RAS Plex up on your Raspberry Pi 3 or your Raspberry Pi 0W. This works on any version of the Raspberry Pi. I prefer the 3. If you have to, you can get away with using a Raspberry Pi 0W also. The reason I want to use both of these is because they have built-in Wi-Fi. Everybody wants to go wireless, but remember, Ethernet is king. First, you will need a few things. Obviously, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3 here. A 2.5 amp power supply if you're using the 3. Some sort of keyboard or air mouse. Now, on the back side of this i25 Re Mini remote you see here is a full keyboard. The i25 does come with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. You just plug it right into a free USB port on your Raspberry Pi. You'll also need an SD card. I'm using a PNY 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card. You could probably get by with using an eight or even lower than that, possibly a four. And the last thing I have on the table is totally optional. It's a flirt case. You can get by with using a plastic case and a fan, but the flirt case is my favorite case of all time for the Raspberry Pi. Fits the two and the three. It's about 15 bucks on Amazon. Links for everything are in the description. But the flirt case cools your Raspberry Pi completely passively. The case actually makes contact with the CPU and draws the heat from it. Never had any issues with overheating doing anything on my Raspberry Pi while using a flirt case. We're going to move on over to the PC because we need to flash the SD card with Rasplex and you'll also need to sign up with Plex online. It's a free service, but they do offer a premium paid version. I actually went ahead and bit the bullet, bought the lifetime version last week, and I'm going to be using this over Cody. I'm going to try to phase Cody out of my life and start using Plex. Let's move over to the PC and get this thing set up. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to plex.tv and sign up. You're just going to sign up with the email, set up a password, and then you can download the Plex server for your PC. I have mine running already. I have a few movies and this is fairly simple to use. It might look a little complicated to start with, but all of my movies are located in my video section here. You can place them anywhere you'd like. You can actually use an external hard drive if you want to, but I just place my videos in my videos folder. Over here, if you don't have a movies section yet, we're going to go to the plus and libraries. Movies. You can name it whatever you'd like. Click next. Browse for a media folder. And then you're just going to navigate to that folder wherever you want to put your movies. Cancel. So get Plex set up. There are tons of tutorials online how to do this. I only have two movies in my section right now. Next thing we're going to need is the Rasplex installer. Very easy to use. It works for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm going to download the Windows version. It's an EXE. You don't have to install anything. Mine's on my desktop. I'm just going to start it up. From here, we're going to choose our Raspberry Pi version. There's a Raspberry Pi. This works with the Pi 1, the Pi 0, and the Pi 0 W. There's also a Raspberry Pi 2 option. This works with the Pi 2 and the Pi 3. I'm using a Pi 3 in this video, so I'm going to choose this. I recommend choosing the latest version, and as of right now, it's 1.8.0. We're going to click Download. You're going to need to select a directory to download this image to. I'm just going to download it to my desktop. Select folder. It's going to download it real quick for us. It's done downloading. From the drop down menu, we can choose the SD card. Make sure you choose the correct drive. Mine's drive F. It's a 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card. And I'm just going to write SD card. Are you sure you want to write to it? Might destroy your data? Yes. I have nothing on that card that I need. You have a little progress bar at the bottom. It's going to write the image to the SD card and we're actually almost done here. 
When the SD card is finished writing, you might get a prompt like this. Just go ahead and cancel, close out of all of this because we're about to take that SD card, put it into our Raspberry Pi. There's a few things we need to note before we start up our Raspberry Pi. We're gonna have to connect to the same network as our PC that's running Plex. You will also want some movies installed. Already showed you how to do that. Grab the movies you want, put them in the correct directory, and then scan for them. Let's move over to the Raspberry Pi now. It's gonna take Rasplex about two minutes to boot up completely. If you're using a Raspberry Pi Zero, it's gonna take about four minutes. You'll be presented with the welcome wizard. Click next. From here, you need to use your navigation keys. So if you're using a keyboard, you'll need to use your arrow keys. If you're using one of the remotes I showed you, you'll need to use the touchpad arrow keys. I'm gonna to connect to the same exact Wi-Fi network that my PC running the Plex server is on right now. Ethernet is king, but I know a lot of people wanna go wireless, so we're gonna do Wi-Fi. You'll click on the connection you want, hit connect, type in your password. When you're done typing it in, go to done. I'm gonna skip this part. I'm now connected. We need to go down to next. Sharing and remote access, I leave SSH and Samba checked. Click next. If your screen looks a little funky, you can calibrate it if you'd like to. It's very easy to do. Most TVs should pick up the signal just fine. Click next. Now we want to sign into our Plex account that we created. Sign into Plex. From here, it's going to give you a four digit code. You need to go over to your PC, go to HTTP plex.tv forward slash 10. Enter the four digit code and it will automatically authorize this Raspberry Pi to be used with your Plex account. You could also just go to manual and sign in with your email or username and put in your Plex password. So I just used my pen on my PC and it automatically connected for me. Press enter. You're now done setting up Rasplex. Click next. So what this is gonna do is automatically find everything on your PC that you've scanned for, and you'll be able to play it on a different television in the house as long as you're connected to the same network. It works really well with the Raspberry Pi 3. I've had the Pi Zero W crash on me twice. That's really why I recommend the 3. So I'll just go to Big Buck Bunny. These are movies I put on here just for this video. I have hundreds of movies, but I didn't want to have them up on the screen. I didn't want to have to scan for an hour. Big Buck Bunny. This is a 4K movie. It's going to transcode it. And it's going to play the movie for us. You can skip ahead by pressing your arrow keys. Enter will play. Escape will exit. And you can choose your movies. You can view your pictures, your music, and everything remotely on a different TV in the house. So this is actually a pretty cheap way to do it. Maybe in the future, the Raspberry Pi Zero W will be supported a little better, but it only has a single core, one gigahertz CPU with 512 megs of RAM. So it's a little hard for that thing to perform as well as the Pi 3. I completely understand that you can use Kodi all day long, but if you're one of those people who don't wanna use Kodi, or if you're one of those people who have hundreds of downloaded movies, this is a great way to watch them on a different TV in the house. If you guys could, hit that thumbs up button. All the links are in the description. If you need a Pi 3, Pi Zero, remote, a flirt case, all the links are down there for Amazon also. Like always, Thanks for watching.